Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, main event here at USC 267. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're combining the interim heavyweight championship and the heavyweight championship back together, ladies and gentlemen. Who will walk out with this title, ladies and gentlemen? We are getting ready to find out here, ladies and gentlemen, ahead to the arena for this matchup here. tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Ngannou is three years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Surreal Bogomolka. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. All right, 
Right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Tonight. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Leg kick checked by Francis and got him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. And those knees aren't just for effect, those are doing real damage. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. Left hand punch from the clinch. All right, so Francis and Gano pretty patient here early on and leaning on his jet. When you look at a guy like Francis, who has such tremendous power, fight behind a jab, it shows you how much he's evolving. He's not just searching for a knockout blow, he's trying to set it up. Oh, nice jab. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Left punch is true. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there. It might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Punches block. Single collar tie now. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, big left. Unable to connect with the right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Nice kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Big call from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Five minutes in the books. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You can see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. The Predator gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down for the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. That's a big strike right there. Visibly limping here. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice 
how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Huge block there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace That's here it. in round two. It's over. It's over. What a fight. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC heavyweight champion. And I'm not sure any heavyweight could have held up under that onslaught, a flurry of strikes to set up the TKO and championship victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, can Gon really win the championship like that, ladies and gentlemen, with a leg check? Wondering Nagano leg is okay, ladies and gentlemen. What a main event here, ladies and gentlemen. First main event of USC, ladies and gentlemen. Pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. You like what you're watching here, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you hit the subscribe button here on YouTube. We're going to have more great action coming your way in the future, ladies and gentlemen. See you then. Peace out.